Hey guys, it's Tim and James with Tabletop Terrors. I'm going to punch James in the face. <laughs> this is Splat Book Roulette. Today's book, The Player's Handbook. Stay tuned. All right. We're going to do a segment called Splat Book Roulette. This is where we flip to a random page, and that's the topic. Now, that's not difficult. Are you sure there's only one bullet in it? Because last time this. <laughs> We're going to play Splat Book Roulette with an automatic weapon. We keep losing. James and I don't have a problem talking, as I'm sure you've seen anything we've been in. We have a problem condensing our ideas. So this is going to be the goal. Hold us to this. Splat Book Roulette, what do you think? Ten minutes or less? Ten minutes or less? I say five minutes. Because if we say five minutes or less, well, it depends. Ooh, okay. If we land on we're already at like a the minute. equipment right. section. No, it starts when we start. All right, actually, okay. I'm, I'll get my phone on. All right. We're going to do time. We're going to do, time. We're gonna do so, Splatbook Roulette. Uh, and so, I'm just going to pick. All right, like, you, you do that. I'm going to uh, take my time. All right, so what we do is I do it. Put the finger in there, and whatever I put my finger on, we have to talk about. And make it interesting and good. So you ready? <laughs> it's going to be a chapter introduction. I gotta, no, I got to bookmark it we're yeah. cheating. No, I'm kidding. Actually, just to prove that we're not cheating. Look. That, you're ruining my player's handbook I to am, prove something I'm that so nobody sorry. cares about. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> it's page 153, Container Capacity. This went about as well as I had hoped and imagined. <laughs> All right, we're 10 you seconds in. You called it. It was equipment-based. Okay. It's most... Okay. I know. I know. It's mostly equipment. So, as far as container capacity, how can we make that interesting? How can we talk about this okay. and make it uh, what I, some kind of tip or trick for you? What I think we want to do is... Uh, this is something that a lot of people don't worry about, me included. Um, yeah, me either. If you're carrying a bunch of stuff, I'm not worrying about how many gallons of something you're carrying. Um Usually it's up to you to keep track of it, and if you just keep pulling stuff out of your bag, I'm like, hey, you can't, you can't carry that. Much. Sure. So when does it matter? I think it matters in a campaign setting like Dark Sun or our own campaign setting of Dragon Grin, where things are scarce and valuable. Uh, I think that's one time it matters. Another time it can matter is when you're specifically playing a survival game. Like on the world of Kror, where a dirty puddle of water is what's going to keep you alive for the next three days. That gallon comes into play pretty heavily, I think, and how much you can carry and your encumbrance and stuff like that. Um, so let's go through some of these. Because I honestly, these are the kinds of things I skip when I'm reading this book. Or if, if you skim them, you don't remember how much a, a chest holds, probably. Right. That'll be something you look up if it comes up in the game. So every player... Has, the first one on the list is backpack. Every player has a backpack, typically, right? It can hold thirty pounds of gear. How many of That's us? How many of us folks have ninety, two hundred pounds of gear in our backpack? So maybe this is something cool to focus on. I'm not a simulationist. I'm a you know when when I'm playing a three D shooter, I don't mind that I'm just pulling guns. You out have of nine nowhere. guns <laughs> on your back. So what do you think about this? Ca okay, so capacity. Like, how, how do you see this coming into play, if at all? I'm trying to think because another, like you said, okay, so survival is the obvious one. If you're in a, a place where you need to survive or another case is like, um, this isn't quite capacity, but something like, okay, well, I keep track of torches. I'm like, all right, it's been about this many sure. hours. You guys need to light a new torch. So I'm trying to think, but be a lot of these seem like things you'd keep alcohol in. <laughs> um, flask or tankard, uh, bottle, bucket, water skin. Um, yeah, this is. This is like the Alki handbook here. Yeah. And there's a an vial, iron water pot, skin, so... a sack. I think, here, okay, here's what I would do. I would make, this is what I would say. Making a character, I would choose one of these things and make it the most valuable thing I own. Okay. Why? I don't know yet. But I would make it whether it's it's going to have sentimental value, I think. And here's why I think that's important. Because I would know, and I would choose one of these things to memorize. I'm not going to memorize this table. But let's say, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 13 on there. Um, 
You have a dice? Not super close. We're running out of time. <laughs> we're running out of time. Oh, okay. James is going to get a die, and we're going to roll, and we're going to see. Um, so just for the sake of ease, this is not, here, you roll. Oh, roll a d12 because you have a backpack. Perfect. <laughs> All right. You want me to roll it? I'll roll it. I'll roll it. All right, you roll. So a three. One, two, three. A basket. Which Could holds, this be going any better? Which holds two cubic feet or 40 pounds of gear. Which, wow, that is more than a backpack. This is a big basket. What kind of basket? I think that, I, they, I think that they winged this thing. I'm okay. imagining the big Easter bunny basket just thick. Full of 40 pounds worth of Where chocolate on Easter. <laughs> All right, so that, okay, but I get to say a thing. Um, I think that a cool time this would matter is, uh, okay, so I'm going to shipwreck my players. And basically they're shipwrecked. This doesn't necessarily matter in general, but what I would say is, okay, you have to pick between all four of you how much stuff you put in the one chest that washed up on shore. You have to decide. Now, you're wearing your armor. You're wearing uh, probably not your backpack, I'd say. You know, shipwrecked at night. The backpack was in No, there. that's perfect. Um, but make it, okay, yes, but make it that they, the ship is going down. You oh, have, okay, there you go, yeah. You have this. And you have you know this, that this will fit on the, on the uh, yep. lifeboat. This basket, that's awful. What an awful No, thing I would do, yes. Yeah, so forget the roll. I'd say chest. In this case, it would be a chest, because it has to be pretty big. It's waterproof. Which uh, is 12 cubic feet or 300 pounds. But I'm like, that's 300 pounds between the four of you. That's all you get to keep. Yep, and I'm talking everything. You have to be in your, basically your tunic to swim to shore, and this chest, so you can't have armor, you can't have weapons. Whatever fits in the chest, you get to keep and start the adventure on the island. And I think that would make for an interesting way to, for capacity to matter. There are certain cases where it does matter. Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, you can assume that everybody's carrying what they're carrying, and if I find something heavy, I'll give it to the guy that's not carrying much to hold. But there you go. That's a uh, uh, carrying container capacity. There you go. So that was Splat Book Roulette. I'm Tim. This is James from Tabletop Terrors. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, make sure to like this video and share it around. And you can check out more stuff like this on tabletopterrors.com. I'm going to cut the black lines. Nope, just kidding. But I got gotcha. you.